Hi guys, it's Mrs. Tucker. All right, let's do a little review of multiplying fractions, and we're going to do this using models. You've already glued your models into your journal, so just watch along with me and add a couple notes as we go. You're going to have to fill in some places. It'd be handy to have a highlighter or colored pencils with you. All right, so let's get started. All right, first problem, number one. I want to know what is one-third of six. I've got six pennies here. If I divide them up into three equal groups, I want to know how many pennies are in each group. So let's do the division. Let's divide them up into three equal groups. And I want to know how many pennies are in each group. Okay, well, it's easy to see here. There's two pennies in each group. Okay, so one-third of six is what? Yes, it's two. All right? That is the same as doing one-third times six, but I don't like the little x as my multiplication symbol because we're in pre-algebra, we're headed to algebra, and we never use the x in algebra. Let's use a little dot to indicate multiplication. Now, out of these two fractions here, what can you do and wind up with two as your final answer? Let's take our numerator times numerator our denominator times denominator, multiply the numerator out, multiply the denominator out, tops times tops, bottoms times bottoms gives me six, divided by three, which is what? Yeah, there's our two. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try problem number two. I have one-fourth of a Kit Kat bar. I share one-half of it with my sister, what fraction of the whole Kit Kat bar did I give my sister? Okay, well let's start with a little model. I've taken the whole Kit Kat bar and divided it into four equal pieces, just like you see here. Okay, I start off with one-fourth of that Kit Kat bar. So use your highlighter, colored pencils, or regular pencil, and shade in one-fourth. You might want to shade in like this if you're just using a pencil. Use those sideways slash marks. Now, of that one-fourth, I gave her half. Let's divide the whole Kit Kat bar in half going vertical. I'm going to shade in that one-half. And the overlap of that shading of half the bar and the one-fourth I started off with is how much I gave my sister. Well, I've divided the whole Kit Kat bar into eight equal pieces and I gave her how much of the whole? What fraction of the whole did I give her? Yeah, one half of the fourth I had is one eighth. So this is the same as saying, what is one half times one fourth? But let's use that little dot instead, because we're headed to algebra. How do I get one eighth by multiplying those two fractions together? Yeah, we're going to take tops times tops and bottoms times bottoms, and we get one eighth. Let's go on to problem number three. Three fourths of Mr. Clean's class went to recess. If two thirds of them played basketball, what fraction of the total class played basketball? I'm going to use this rectangle to represent Mr. Clean's entire class. What fraction of them went to recess? Yeah, three-fourths. So let's take the whole class, divide it in half, and then take the halves and divide those in halves. So now I've got three-fourths, or I've got it into fourths. Let's shade in three of those four bars. All right? The yellow here, the three-fourths I've shaded in in yellow, highlighter, represents the fraction of the class that went to recess. Now, of those that went to recess, two-thirds of them played basketball. Let's take and divide the entire class into three equal pieces vertically and shade in two-thirds of that. So you can see of the three-fourths that went to recess, I have shaded in two-thirds of them. How many equal pieces did I now divide the whole class into? 
yeah, I've got 12 equal pieces. Of the 12 equal pieces, how many of them played basketball? That's going to be this amount right here. This represents two-thirds of the three-fourths that went to recess. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six-twelfths. So six-twelfths reduces to what? Well, if we look at this, here's six. Here's another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have half of the class playing basketball. This is the same as two-thirds of three-fourths is the same as multiplying. But you know I don't like that little symbol, so let's put a dot in there. What are we going to do now? Let's take tops times tops and bottoms times bottoms, which gives us 6 over 12, which is what we had over here, which is the same as one half of the class. Yeah, pretty easy. All right, good luck with this, guys.